All right, Javel. What's going on? What's going on? How's everything going? Hey, man, it's going, man. It's we're going. in Las Vegas. Yeah. Nine years ago, you were in Las Vegas during Summer League, mm -hmm. and you did this ridiculous play. So, uh, all right. So, Cartier Martin made the little hustle play, and as soon as he died for the floor, I just started sprinting, hoping he'd get the ball. And when he got it, I mean, in the practices, we would be talking like, we got to do something on the fast break. So, I was like, if I get a chance, I'm going to rock the cradle, because you don't see seven footers rocking the cradle. So. I had to go ahead and do it in the summer league, so it really doesn't count. So you can go ahead and do your thing. I mean, I've always been agile and fast, so with that, with those combinations together, and I got hops, I knew I could do it. Yeah. Well, then you also, when the season started with the Wizards, mm -hmm. you had this. I want to call it a block, but it, I guess it's really a grab with Wes Matthews. Yeah. If he would have laid the ball up. It would have been okay, and I wouldn't have blocked it like that, but he tried to dunk it. So the fact that he put all that force into it, I, my hand was already on it, and I was like, let me just grab it. And I feel like that was one of the one of the top-notch uh, blocks in like the last 10 years for sure. You can only name like two or three players that have done anything similar. I exactly. think Chris Stops did it once, mm -hmm. Hassan Whiteside did it once, yeah. and then it's just you. But exactly. I think you were before all of them, and now everyone else tries to yeah, do it. Man. I've been grabbing, <laughs> grabbing them out the air for a while. You also went and blocked Blake Griffin when he was dunking on everybody. Yeah. Is there any hesitation when he's going up? No, nah, not at all. Especially young mm -hmm. I'm like 240, 245, so I'm real, real springy. So I'm just going at everything. Yeah, because players will say, like, players admit that sometimes LeBron will come up and they're like, I'm not going to contest that because yeah. they're going to end up on a poster. Mm -hmm. You were just like, nah, not. it's timing. And uh, I just knew by that time that he wasn't going to be able to dunk it, or if he was, I was going to win up there. So I had to take that chance. It worked out for me. If you look at one of the replays, too, I think Blake even smiles because I think he's used to just blocking or dunking on everybody. Yeah, people, you saw people move out the way yeah. when Blake look, goes look, up. He's like smiling at the end. Like, <laughs> he knows. He knows. Yeah. And then I want to ask, is the is the highlight on Joe, Joe Kim Noah your best highlight? Because uh, usually people have it number one. This is a foul, by the way. Okay. I, they did not call this a foul. This is a foul. You literally pushed me. Yeah. I would I would grab the rim if you wouldn't push me. But by far, I jumped like one foot in front of the free throw line, two feet, like and just threw it in. What's like, your man. What's your wingspan? Uh, seven six, nine six standing. And your vertical at uh, this time? Thirty three. 33, 34. So, have, have you ever talked to him about the this play? I never talked to him. I've seen him the other day, too. I never actually mentioned, like, you're a hack. You follow me on this. And then the Jose Calderon one. Yeah, I don't know why he decided to do this. <laughs> and the crazier part is, I, it was crazy that he stood there and just let me dunk on him. But if people ever realize, the Raptors floor has the little symbol and it makes it look like it's a uh, banister back there. So yeah. it looks yeah. like you're gonna sprain your ankle, but that's really just painted on the floor. So that's not there anymore. You, well, you, store, you stared him down. Yeah. You had a little celebration too. too. <laughs> is this your favorite highlight? Uh, no, it's not my favorite. So which one is it? Uh, probably the one in Houston when I threw it off the backboard. Well, we have that play, don't worry, we'll get to okay. it. Um, one thing that's interesting also is like, who did you grow up trying to emulate? because there's not a lot of players like you. Um, I emulated guards, if anything. Um, I've always been tall, taller than everybody else, but my mother didn't know if I was gonna keep growing, so she didn't want me to be a five, a six, five center. Mm -hmm. So I've always been agile and always tried to do the things that guards do, so it, it worked out for me. Yeah, well, you said your favorite highlight was That's, throwing it off the backboard, so sure. here it is. Just walk me through that entire one. Because did you know you were going to throw it off the backboard? I didn't, I didn't know, but I, the, the lane opened up, and I was like, there's nothing else I can do but throw it off the backboard. So let's do it. Have you ever done that in the game beforehand, like no, in college or time. high school? Never. <laughs> so in you're in the NBA. I, I actually have thrown off the backboard in, in the NBA, but it was wide open. Yeah. Yeah, but never in the middle of the key with everybody in there. Going back to the blocks. I'm the only one grabbing, grabbing blocks for sure. Most guys go up and they try to, like, block it out of bounds. Yeah. When did you know you can just grab it? Um, I don't know. It's just, I started grabbing it and then I started weaning away from grabbing it because they started calling gold team because they hadn't seen it so much. Yeah. So I had to stop doing it. But I still, I still would grab it out the air when it's necessary. And what allows you to do that? It's timing and just having big hands, I guess? Definitely. Definitely timing and me having extremely large hands and being athletic. People forgot how good this Denver team by, was, by the way. By, with Andre Iguodala, yeah. me, Kenneth Fareed, yeah. for sure. I think we won 57 games that season. 
57? I think we were the beginning of the run mm -hmm. when Golden State started winning championships. So I did this dunk and he like grabs me. So I'm like, get off of me. And then I think like the next game he dunked on me. Did he? Yeah, but I didn't fall. So I was like comparable. My dunk was better by far. What's an underrated part of your game? Um, the, the fact that I'm not afraid to jump at anybody blocking shots and I'm not and I'm gonna try to dunk on anybody yeah. by far. Still, right? For sure. It I don't, wasn't just like a young JaVale thing that nah, you mentioned. Still. I'm still trying to dunk on everybody, still blocking every shot that goes up there. Yeah. Well then then you joined the Warriors after. Yeah. And I felt like you and Clay had just good chemistry because you just throw it. For up. sure. Once Clay figured out that I'd go catch anything, he was like, I'm gonna throw it anytime. And I was like, I got you. This ain't going here. This is really <laughs> Anything. I mean, because that angle is Anything. ridiculous too. It's, hor it's horrible angles, but I'm gonna catch him. It doesn't matter. <laughs> who is who is the player that you were closest to on the Warriors, kind of during that two-year run? Um, probably Kelly. Yeah. yeah, probably Clay. I used to always go over his house. He had a little golf, a little, uh, a little golf um, putt putt in, at his house. So yeah. I used to go over there and, and play putt putt. So that, that stuff does matter. Like people talk about like you want to hang out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Especially, and it, and it really goes in the court. In my beginning years, I really wasn't the hang out with my teammates type person. Yeah. But the longer I got in the league, I'm like, okay, this really matters. And do you have a favorite season so far in your career? Uh, yeah, the two seasons I won a championship yeah. by far. That's by far the most fun I've ever had in the league. And people always say like, it's, they, they, they're like, they imagine winning a championship feeling a certain way. Is it exactly what they... You can't, you can't, nah. You yeah. can't imagine that feeling. Because yeah. it's, it's not easy. People think it's easy. Like, it was just, oh, you with the Warriors. Yeah. Everybody's all-star. No, yeah. it wasn't easy. Injuries happened. Like, we really had to fight. and But we had so much fun doing it. And it was really a brotherhood. Well, then, in, in that first game of the finals, you had the, um, the dunk over Kevin Love. Mm -hmm. And are you nervous before, like, the finals? No. Mm -hmm. Just because I'm just like... There's nothing like, it's just a game yeah. in the long run. Look at Kevin's face, he's like, oh no. Yeah, he, he, he wasn't gonna jump, and I wasn't worried about it either. And, and then what gave you that mentality of just being like, no matter who's going up, I'm gonna try to dunk it, or who, whoever comes at me, I'm gonna try to block it, it doesn't matter. Um, the, Cause not all guys have exactly. that. Exactly, uh, it's just, I figured out early on, the more you dunk, the less people jump. So if you dunk every time, people will stop jumping or they'll fake hustle and you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No one wants to get dunked on. This next clip, do you know why I'm showing you this clip? Do you know the reasoning? Um, because, uh, was it John Stewart? Yes. Yeah, John yes. Stewart. I, but the thing is though, I hate when people get surprised when I make a jump shot. Just because I don't mm -hmm. shoot them doesn't mean I can't make jump shots. That's just not yeah. my role for the team at the time. Yeah. So when people yeah. get surprised when I make a jump shot, I'm like, come on, bro. I'm an NBA player. I didn't get here from just dunking. I think he was also just like, man, this is the next. Like, this is, like, if <laughs> that this, added to it, yeah. too. That yeah. added to it, too. Because I was like a fumbling play, and I ended up just getting a, a nice little turnaround jump shot. And you made this your profile picture, for right? For sure. For sure. I wanted to get my troll on for a second, so. Have you been able to talk to him? Have you ever met him? Uh, I actually did, yeah. And so what did he and say? He was like, he was like, do you remember? I'm like, yeah, I remember you was holding your face. It was hilarious. You had a really good season with the Lakers this year. Mm -hmm. It was, I think, a lot of career highs, like 12 points a game, yep. minutes, everything was higher. Mm -hmm. um, you caught, like, you caught a lot of lobs. Yep. Rondo found, found you just like played. The funnier there. part about this highlight is uh -huh. that Mike Muscala got traded to us the, like, when the trade deadline happened, mm -hmm. and I'm like, <laughs> remember a couple games ago, sir? What'd he say? He didn't say nothing. <laughs> okay. This guy was a shooter, he's not a shot blocker. Well, now you guys got some new additions. Congrats on the two year deal. Thank you, appreciate um, it. Boogie's coming, mm -hmm. AD's coming. You feeling, how you feeling? I feel like we, I feel like the GM, they went on 2K and cheated and just put a whole bunch of good players on the same team. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's definitely gonna work out. I feel like we're gonna make a deep run. I, I think what's interesting about this year is that it's like the most loaded, everyone, every everyone's team. loaded. So it's a great feeling just knowing like, it's not a, and no one's an underdog, no one's yeah. a surefire winner. We just, it's gonna be real basketball and everybody has a chance to win and that's thats the way I like to play. So you said that people get mad that yeah. you don't, like you can hit, th you can hit shots. I can hit shots. You gotta think about odds. If I only shoot three threes in my whole career mm -hmm. and I miss, and I and I never make any, it's only, I only had three attempts. So mm -hmm. if it's zero percent, you get what I'm saying? Well, the celebration here is, exactly. is great. Exactly, I pre-thought this out before too. I was like, when I make a three, I'm gonna dip it in the honey pot. 
I already had the celebration so, ready. So how long did you have it prepped, the celebration? Oh, probably like a month before. A month? <laughs> and when were you planning on shooting threes? There was no plan. I shoot threes in practice all the time, but there are no plays for me to shoot threes. Mm -hmm. There's no intention for the coaches to let me mm -hmm. shoot threes. So it's like work on your game. You're still a basketball yeah. player, but you also have to do what's best for the team. Well, two years ago, I saw you at the Chris Brickley runs in New York. Mm -hmm. And I remember you just kept hitting threes. Sure. And I was like, oh, wow, is he going to make threes like next season? No, it's just not. about the opportunity, right? Yeah, it's the opportunity and your role on that team. Yeah. My role was to shoot threes on the team that I was on. Because they had like four of the greatest shooters ever. Exactly. Sunday no, Steph, scoot over. Yeah. Let me shoot this three. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if you waved them off. That would Move, be funny. Steph. <laughs> the, last, the last couple plays, um, the dunk contest. Mm -hmm. But this dunk, I literally was trying out at the practice the day before, I think. I was trying to do a 12 foot uh, dunk and I couldn't reach it. I could, but it just looked ugly. Like it wasn't yeah. interesting at all. So I was like, lower them both to 10 and put them side by side. And the first time I tried, I did it. And I was like, wow, like I'm gonna do that. Cause if you realize when I throw the ball, I never look at the left rim. I just have to assume where it's at. Oh, and you're just like. Yeah, I just throw, I have no idea where the rim is at all. I never look at it, watch. I never even looked at the rim. Yeah. That's, I feel like you this just is the most, on the, I'm focused on catching the ball yeah. I just threw with my right hand. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like this is the most underrated dunk in the NBA dunk contest ever, to tell the truth. D did you feel like you should have won that year? For sure. Yeah, because this next one's really good too. That's the Larry Nance. Yeah. 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 I, I was looking at, oh, I think it's 1984 dunk contest highlights, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this one, because I, I think I can do this. And me and Larry Nance, uh, senior, by the way, yep. had uh, sort of like the same body type, so I was like, I probably can do this one. Well, this is another thing that I think everyone forgets. You're seven foot. Exactly. You're not supposed to be able to do this exactly. at all. Exactly. Almost hit my head on the backboard, too. Okay. Well, so you, you agree, you should have won this year. For sure. Okay. But hey, <laughs> it that's is the way the cookie is. crumbles. It is what it is. Thank you so much, man. Definitely, it was bro. so much fun. You were Thank great. You, bro, for Thank sure. you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Definitely.